Have you found yourself in a situation where you need to make a photo slideshow? Maybe for a special event like a wedding or anniversary? In this video, I'll be showing you how you can do just that with Apple's Photos for Mac. Welcome to Hey Ivan, a channel where you can ask tech questions. Do you have a tech question? Drop a comment and I'll give you an answer. Don't have a question? Click like if you find value in this video. Help spread the word by sharing it with others and consider subscribing to join the community. When you subscribe, click the bell to enable notifications so you can know the moment I drop a new video. Thanks. You can use the chapter links in this video to jump directly to the section you want. I've been using Apple's Photos app for a long, long time now. In fact, it's the primary place where I keep pictures and videos. The last time I checked, I had over 40,000 photos and around 2,500 videos in my library. The main way I add photos and videos is by snapping pics or recording videos using my iPhone. And because I have iCloud Photo Library turned on, those pictures and videos, as well as any edits I make, sync to all my Apple devices automatically. Now, while it's possible to use an iPhone or iPad to make slideshows, in this video, I'll be focusing on how to do that on the Mac. Let's say you've been asked by a family member to create a slideshow for an upcoming anniversary or something. And this is totally a random example, by the way. If you've said yes to such a request, you'll soon receive a couple hundred photos or so of their special moments. When this happens, you might ask yourself, do I really wanna mix all of these pictures into my own photo library? And if you're anything like I am, the answer to that question is probably not. So what do you do? Pick a new photo library. When you open Apple Photos, it opens to the default library on your Mac, which it calls the System Photo Library. However, because you're using a Mac, you can press and hold the Option key on your keyboard before you open Photos. When you do that, you'll see an option to choose Library, which lets you select any other photo libraries you may have created. And from here, you can also choose to create an empty library, which is what I'm gonna do right now. Give your library a meaningful name. I like to put my new photo libraries in the Pictures folder on my Mac to make them easier to find in the future. The new library that we're creating will exist only on this Mac. It's not the system photo library, which means that photos and videos you put into it won't sync across to all of your devices. And that's exactly what I want in this case. Click OK and the Photos app opens to a new empty library. Here's an important note. Now that you've opened a different photo library, the Photos app will remember that. It'll always try to open the last library you used. To select your original library, quit Photos, then press and hold the Option key before opening Photos again. Now that we've created an empty library, it's time to import photos and videos we'd like to use. There are a couple of ways to do this. First, we can click File, Import, and browse to where our photos are, or we can drag and drop pictures and videos directly into the Photos app. As you can see here, I'm dragging in photos from a vacation my wife and I took a couple of years ago. Once you've finished your import, you're ready to make the slideshow. In this video, we're gonna focus on making a slideshow project, which gives you the greatest amount of control over the end result and lets you export the slideshow as a movie you can share with others later. In the menu, click File, Create, Slideshow, Photos. Give the slideshow a meaningful name and then click OK. You'll now have the option of selecting photos to add to the slideshow. Click on each photo or video you'd like to include. In my case, I wanna include all 27, so I'll press Command A to select them all and then click Add. In the projects area of the sidebar, you'll see your new project. This is where you can click to return to the project in the future. When you select your project, it loads on the right of the screen. Along the top of the slideshow area, you'll see the name of the slideshow project. Across from the project name, you'll see a count of the total number of slides in your project and a duration that shows how long the slideshow will play. In the center of the slideshow area is the active slide. Just below the active slide is a preview button that runs the show within the bounds of the Photos app so you can see how things look. To the right of that is a play button that plays the slideshow at full screen, and further to the right is a loop button that, when active, will play the slideshow on a continuous loop. Below these controls, you'll see thumbnails of each slide in your slideshow. You can drag the slides around to reorder them. Just click and drag to move slides individually. Press and hold the Shift key to select multiple slides with your mouse, and then release the Shift key to drag and move them around or press and hold the command key to select multiple slides that may or may not be next to each other. Release the command key and then drag your slides around. To the right of the slides, click the plus button to add text to the selected slide or to add more photos and videos from your library to the slideshow project. Press the delete key on your keyboard to remove a slide from your show. Along the right edge of the slideshow, you'll find buttons that let you adjust slideshow options. The first button is themes. Click it to see the available themes. Each theme animates the slideshow in a different way. There's Ken Burns, Origami, Reflections, 
sliding panels, vintage prints, classic, and magazine. Pick the one that you like best for your project. Now let's talk music. Click the music note to pick music for your project. Each theme has its own default music. However, you can expand to look for music from the other themes or from music in Apple's Music app. Important note, you'll find that music from Apple streaming service, Apple Music, cannot be added to slideshows. You can only include music that you've purchased from Apple Music or music that you've manually loaded into your music library. Drop a comment if you'd like me to make a video that shows you how to purchase music using Apple's Music app. If you decide to buy a track to use with this project, or if you load new music into your music app, you'll notice that it won't appear in the project until you close and reopen Photos. Photos refreshes its list of available music each time it opens. Another important note is that while you can insert music you've purchased into your slideshow, you're only covered for personal use. You don't have the rights to use any of that music publicly, which includes using it as part of any YouTube videos, social media sites, or anywhere else online. Have you guys ever had any videos that you've uploaded to Facebook or YouTube get muted before? Let me know in the comments. For most of the slideshows I make, I try to keep their duration to the length of a single song. I've noticed that at family gatherings, people interpret the end of a song as a cue that the slideshow is over. If you start a second song in your slideshow, your audience may become restless. So how do you control the duration of a show? Click the stopwatch icon at the right to see duration options. The fit to music option is self-explanatory. This option makes music more important than the slides. Once the music stops, so does the slideshow. The custom option lets you set the length of the entire slideshow. I tend to set the duration to match the length of the music my show is using. This way, both the music and the slideshow end at the same time. If you're using the classic theme, then you'll see a few additional options that let you set how slides transition from one to another. Before we talk about how to export your slides so that you can send it to someone else or put it on another computer, let me take you quickly through my workflow from start to finish. If you'd like to skip this part, click one of the chapter links below. As I described earlier, I tend to create a new photo library to keep pictures and videos that my family or friends might send me separate from my own. Usually someone sends me all the pictures they'd like to include in their show. Then I import all the photos into my new empty library. Sometimes I'll need to use the built-in basic photo editing features to rotate or crop images just the way I want. After that, I create the slideshow project and select all the pictures to include. Next, I select the theme, pick the music, and set the slide duration. Finally, I worry about the order of the slides. I pick good starting and ending slides too. I'll often remove slides that don't match the music. And once all of that is done, I'm ready to export the project. Exporting bundles the slideshow, music, transitions, and text together as a video file. Click File, Export, Export Slideshow. Choose a format, which is essentially the quality. I always choose 1080p. Then pick where you'd like to save the video and click Save. Photos will show you a progress bar and thumbnail of the video while you wait. And that's all there is to it. Do you have a favorite app for making slideshows? Or is there one you'd like me to take a look at? Drop a comment and let me know. Did this video bring you value? Click like if it did and share it with others who you think might benefit from it. And while you're here, you might wanna check out some of the other videos that I've made. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.